Right, everybody? A little bit more of this uh, kit for beginners. Thanks for the comments uh, already. Uh, just to reiterate, just to go over again, right? This is for nobody else but myself or, or the wife, right? Just a little game I'm playing with myself. So, that's the pouch I've been using. Uh, what I've gone for is the two books, the polymath tin, and a pretty good first aid kit, right? Before I go on to things which I think the poly, polymath kit is short on, it needs a, a cover element, right? I'm coming from somebody who doesn't know anything, hasn't got anything, right? <clears throat> I watch a lot of YouTube channels, right? There's, uh, there's some massive channels go on about our chosen subject, bushcrafting, survivalist, whatever, right? Hear me out. What I'm going to put in here is a poncho. I think ponchos, pound for pound, money wise and weight, weight, weight wise, right? Brilliant bit of kit to have. Multi purpose, multi faceted, right? So, just my point on ponchos. This here is a survival kit, right? Now, if you're trying to survive, the last thing you're going to want is something dark. Something camouflaged, right? Something difficult to see. These are all ponchos. There's a poncho there, olive green, black, camo light, camo dark. I've got various other ponchos, right? But survival kit. That's hiding, isn't it? You know, if you went something dark or drab, you're not going to stand out like a turd on a billiard table. Which, if you're trying to get rescued, or that's what you want. So, very bright, very garish, lightweight poncho. Right, that's what's going with this kit for beginners. Now, I've been thinking about this all afternoon, and I thought, should I keep the kit just within the realms of that bag? Well, certain things you've got to take into consideration there. If you were using your poncho, even though it's got a little um, outer carry bag, you don't really want to be putting a wet kit inside a dry bag. So I'm going to strap it on the side with one of those little ponchos, right, in a little pouch. Okay, so that's the cover element I'm going to be using. One of those uh, off Amazon, again, off Amazon. Uh, Around the ten pound mark, nothing exceptional, but that's what I'm, that's what I'm going for, and that's what I've gotten here. Okay, so that's going to be part of the cover element in this little survival kit. Now, I haven't decided what cutting blade I'm going to be putting in there, but. I've got three choices here, and I don't know which way around to do it. That there is a Victorinox walker. I'm quite fond on these little walkers. You get a blade, a little saw, and what the call is the multi opener. No rear tools, but you get the tweezers and the toothpick. That's the walker. Going up from the walker, it'll probably be um, the hiker or the camper. So I'm thinking about that price wise. Or do I put in, see that there? That's a Victorinox Huntsman. Right? So I don't know. But 
just check the price, make sure I've got this right. UK, and they're UK legal carry, obviously, right? So keep it all above board. Now, I know people out there have seen these. These are the little Anglo arms. UK legal folders, right? Get with various colours. Different colours, right? And I've got these from Springfields, and at the moment, Springfields are knocking these out. Two pound twenty nine. So, let's see how much I. Ten pound seventy five, which was with postage. I thought, you know, UK legal, so I got three, right? Just. Just because I thought, well, by the time I paid postage, there's two. I just rounded it up to a tenner, right? So, for less than a fiver, delivered to your door, UK legal, little blade. It's got a sharp enough spine to use on a feather seam rod. And a good enough little knife. So, I haven't quite come to my choices yet, but... On a low budget, for one of those Polymath products kits, that's what I'll be adding, on a low budget. If I had a bit of better budget, I'll be adding in a walker. Again, if I could afford it a bit more, there'd be a hiker going in, or the camper, which is the old trekker. The hiker is my preference, because that's the one with the screwdriver on. But it would either be the walker, and again, above the hiker or the, the trekker, a uh, camper would be your huntsman, right? Or budget. But budget, budget, budget friendly. £2.30, did I say? You know, £2.30, so you're looking at less than £5 delivered if you get one. Uh, and the only reason why I got three of these was because, like I said, by the time I looked at the postage, seemed to be beneficial to get two and then I just rounded it up to a tenner type thing right so have a look at them and I'll get them from Springfields £2.29 uh, does it say delivery cost? And £2 de de delivery I think so whatever, but like I say, that would be, they would be my choices for that little kit I'm playing with. Uh, be bright, be bold. You know what I mean? If you want to be, if you want to be rescued, the last thing you want to be doing is sitting in the dark with something camouflage or something dark. Does, doesn't make sense. If you want to get rescued, you want to stand out like a big turd on a billiard table. Okay, so in a pouch, keep all the moisture away from your kit in there. Step two of the kit. Now, I'm a great believer in whistles, right? I do like whistles. Uh, Honey Haynes, Honey Haynes, got a couple of these. Got a compass on the top there. Uh, just for me, anything like that with a compass on, I don't really say, right, I've got a compass because that's on there. It's there. We've got a little seal on there. There is a little mirror in there so you could fix up your makeup. But that's got a hollow tube inside there, right? Uh, tiny bit of a feather seam rod on the side. Okay, it is what it is, right? Like I say, things like that, gimmicky, right? But the whistle itself, I've gone for one of these ones with an empty compartment inside because 
put my finger down. seen these before I think these are called the Ranger yeah Ranger right yeah. this is what I was taught on one of these that was the first start lighting fires uh, and what that is in there it's just a small little phallocean rod with a bit of a handle right a bit of a holder right uh, you get the old hacksaw blade bit striker right but Again, another reason why I've chosen one of these whistles is I'll be taking the chain off to get that strike off. Don't think I'll be putting the striker in there because right, I'm not going to. I've got something else in mind. But as you can see, those little Ranger strikers will fit in that whistle just nicely. Right? So the idea being is. This whistle, whistle, I'm going to have a little ferrocene rod in it, uh, and I'm going to cut up some Mad Dog's fire wicks, put them in it, a little bit of tampax if I can get it in there, one tampon, and some sort of scraper for the ferrocene rod, which I think is going to be a pencil sharpener blade. Okay, so that's why I've gone for a whistle like that, because of that emptiness inside there. Every little helps, as they say. Something's better than nothing. Uh, I'm not going to blow it. But that's going to be the whistle that I'm going to add to this part of that beginner's kit. Now, just to balance it up, because I put decided to put that pouch on the side of there, I'll be putting another pouch on that side. My mind says, put a water bottle on it, right? So, that's possibly what I'm going to be putting on there. But, it's slowly going to come together. I'll slowly show you, step by step, and then show you it all together, see what we've come up with. Now, somebody's already commented and made this, made this point, which is a good follow point. These little things that I set myself, well, it's not just, I don't find it easy at all, right? I've got to come from somebody who has not got a clue about being outside. Just hasn't got a clue, right? Uh, that's, that's tricky. And not only that, <coughs> you've got to, everything's got a budget, right? So I'm not going to talk about money, but there's a budget, right? It's not endless. It's not endless at all. And also, I want stuff in here that is that you, you can look at in, in half pick up on what's what hence my reason why the only reason really the only reason why I put that in because if you look at the contents in there in the tin by the time you've worked and played through all that you, sh you should have a little idea of a couple of the basics getting your water sorted out getting the fire sorted out getting some shelter sorted out and how to shout for help right so when you look at all those big channels out there or whoever it was saying right yes we've got to get a survival kit survival kit and what we're going to do is we're going to put a poncho in that survival kit and then they come up with something camouflage Cuckoo. be bright be seen be bold right so that's coming from experience right just put it on the experience what you want in a survival situation something very bright that's what I'm going for in there it's the next stage and then like I say you know for UK legal let's say for UK legal there's a little angle of arms knives there's, a, there's many other knives just what I've got here in front of me uh, the walker, the trekker, the camper, sorry I keep calling it the trekker because that's what it were called, the hiker, the walker's the small one, the hiker is the one with the screwdriver on, the camper is the one with the corkscrew on, one of those two, or 
ba, 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 Huntsman. Right? There's nothing wrong with them, just going into a little kit. So that's what I'm going to do. I'll just heads up again on those, right? Angle Worms Legal Carry Knife. I've got three of them, right? But uh, cost per unit £2.29. Uh, tax £1.38. Total cost £6.88. That's probably wrong. Tax £6.88. And then a bit of delivery £10.74. So, so you're probably looking at three or four quid for one. Yeah, about three or four quid for one with the, with the delivery. And the only, the only reason why I got three is well, first of all, I know that they're good at the knives and it just rounded it, it just made more sense to me. You know, price of two is, is cheap, and the price for three. I just thought it just made sense. So possibly one of those little UK folders going in there. But I'm very keen on the old Victorinox knives. I, I think I've got one or two. Right? But it's the saw for me. It's the fact that the saw clinches it on the Victorinox because the saws generally are a good bit of kit. You know, it's not like some other makes that you get. It's, it's just there. Right, so that's what I'm aiming at. But that's the part of the cover because there's a there's a sleeping bag cover in there that you know one of those Milo sleeping bags in there. We've now got a poncho, extremely bright poncho. Right, so. On the run, don't want to be seen. Survival rescue, let's get out of there. Okay? Gotta think, people. That's that one on that.